Goodness gracious! It's Snapchat chat time! <laughs> oh, that sounded... That sounded wrong. It sounded weird. Oh, I was just, I just had a fit of coughing. I started to film Sat Chat and, uh, and I got like a, a t kind of a tickle in my throat and my nose is kind of, uh, like, you know, my nose always starts running like in the middle of Sat Chat. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have the tissue ready. Uh, it's chilly in here, so <laughs> it kind of makes my nose want to run a little bit more. It's, um, so it's kind of, kind of weird, weird morning. It's been a weird week. We'll get into that. Um, I came down here this morning after I got back from walking the dog to turn my space heater on so it would be warm after I, you know, did my hair and makeup and came down to film. And uh, I also have a Michael's class I'm going to be teaching right after I film Sat Chat. Um, so I just wanted to kind of get everything all lined up and ready to go. And I came down here to start filming and I'm like, why is it so cold in here? I forgot to plug in the space heater. <laughs> Oh, because I'm such a, like, uh, I'm so nervous about space heaters and stuff, so I always unplug them, even though they're probably fine to leave plugged in. I, I like, I will wake up in the middle of the night sometimes and come downstairs and check to see if that space heater's plugged in. It's always unplugged, but I just get, I just get nervous. It's like, well, what if I forgot? Um, so anyway, it, the space heater's now plugged in, but it's not warm in here yet. <laughs> uh, but anyway, no mind. Of course, I chose today to wear this, uh, this rayon top. Actually, my daughter, I'll show it to you. It's kind of cute. Um, my, my daughter gave this to me. She was cl going through her Depop stash. And, uh, cause like what she's been doing, the little, the little sneak, actually, she's a brilliant businesswoman. She has been, um, listing stuff on Depop, but she has all of her Depop inventory at home in her bedroom and all her shipping supplies and stuff. So I'll get an email like, Mama, can you can you email this uh, this pair of shoes I sold on Depop? And she'll like email the print, the shipping label. And, and I do. I am usually have to run to the post office at least once a week for, you know, sell a, uh, send a painting off or something. And, uh, well, maybe not once a week, but, you know, it seems like I'm always, uh, I always have to run to the post office or something. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so she was going through her inventory because I'm like, are you going to take that stuff back to school with you so you can fulfill your orders? And, uh, so she was and she was going through and I guess she didn't want this shirt anymore and she gave it to me. And, uh, I like it. She says, she says, oh, mama, that looks good. That's a thin, thick look. And I'm like, what do you mean thick? What are you talking about thick? And she's like, no, no, mama, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> You're like, okay, I'll trust you. That's what the kids are wearing. I'm all hip now. What do you think? I look like that, uh, I look like your hippie art teacher, which actually is pretty well on brand for me, honestly. On, no, actually, on brand for me is Bridge Troll because I'm always just like going through the girls' goodwill bags when they're getting rid of stuff because I hate shopping. <laughs> oh, it's been a week. It's been a week, guys. Um, where to start? I don't know. I feel like I should put like a trigger warning at the beginning of this video. I, I should put the disclaimer that no, you're not going to learn anything artistic today. I really doubt. Maybe you will. Who knows? I'm not going to guarantee anything. You get no warranties or anything with this video. Um, but then also, who knows what I'm going to talk about. And I said something in a video uh, a few weeks ago and somebody's like, love your content, but you really should put a trigger warning if you're going to talk about, um, about like health food stuff. And uh, so I didn't mean to trigger anybody if I did, because uh, I was really upset that the Skinny Pop popcorn, trigger warning, I was really upset that the Skinny Pop popcorn had the exact same calories as like Jolly Time and Orwardenbacher and stuff. I felt like I was thin washed and I didn't like that. I didn't buy it either. No, no, I'm going to vote with my dollar. <laughs> I've just bought regular kernels, made my own, it's healthier anyway. But, um, but yeah, it's been kind of a uh, surreal week. I haven't been sleeping very well, you probably can tell. I uh, actually put some of those uh, uh, cucumbery, cucumber things, cucumber slices on my eyes to try to reduce the bags because, oh, last couple nights I've woken up in the middle of the night and been like awake for two hours. And I am not one for biphasic sleep. I like to get a solid seven and a half, eight hours all in one go, but, um, <sighs> I've been helping the kids with some adulting and it's been stressing me out so I think that's what it is. I wake up and then I just I can't turn my brain off um, and last night I was determined I'm like I am going to stay in bed until I fall back asleep and it was like an hour and a half later I'm like okay I'm just gonna get up. I got up and I and I went downstairs brought my pillow and uh, put on the TV because usually the TV can kind of like um, distract me enough that my brain can calm down and I can go to sleep and I'm like okay if I get sleep from from 4 a.m to 8 a.m. then I can get four hours there, you know, to add on to the 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. sleep that I've already gotten. I'm like doing the math. You know how you do the math when you're like, you're not sleeping, you got like insomnia and you're just like trying to like, okay, okay, well, if I go to sleep now, I got six hours. If I go to sleep now, I got, you know, and, uh, and I'm just not somebody that does well on a small amount of sleep. And people say, Lizzie, how come you have so much energy? What's your secret? Do you ever sleep? It's like, yes, that's my secret. I sleep. I need, I need seven and a half to eight hours of sleep. Or 
um, or my mental health suffers. I get very moody and and ir and just like irrational and just um, like just anxious. Anxiety. It's just like this, this this like depression anxiety I get if, if I don't get enough sleep. So um, so it's concerning when I go a couple nights in a row because I'm just like I'm just kind of bracing myself for you know what what sort of mood swings are going to be ha uh, befall me if I don't get uh, don't get the proper amount of sleep. But I actually feel pretty good right now. Um, one of the adulting uh, issues or the main adulting issue uh, from one of my offspring has been resolved this morning so so that's good uh, it's just I think it's the mental load of motherhood and I'm sure fatherhood too um, you know my, my husband's dealing with a uh, with a uh, a car issue from one of the kids as well currently so uh, so yeah it's just a, it's just a parental mental load I think that um, that doesn't quite dissipate when the kids are are of, of legal age <laughs> You're still, you know, it's still there. You're still worrying about them and trying to help them as much as you can. And, um, and yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard enough to worry about yourself going through life, but then you worry about the other people it's, that you've brought into this world. You've brought into this, this planet, uh, you feel responsible for, <laughs> and, uh, and it's a lot sometimes, but but I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Uh, the sun was out a little bit this morning. We we got some snow, but not as much snow as they were forecasting. We we're supposed to have like um, I think like eight to twelve inches originally, and luckily they got downgraded. I think maybe we got four or five inches, so that's so much better. And when I um, when I finally gave up the ghost and decided it was like six thirty, the cat woke me up, and I'm like, oh my word, please. You just want to sleep. And finally, I gave up. I gave up the ghost about 6.30. I'm like, all right, I'm making coffee. I mean, there's, there's, I'm not, I'm too wound up. I'm too wound up. I'm too stressed out about not sleeping to get to sleep. So, um, so I just got to make coffee and the sun was actually out. And I was like, okay, sun's out. I can go get my solar power on and, uh, and try to, uh, try to soak up some of those vibes. By the time I went out to walk the dog, the sun was gone, but it was very bright because it had, it was still snowing and, you know, how everything's just reflective. And, uh, and light and although it was very cold we still got a got a good 45 minute walk in and into the woods and I always think it's good to walk in the woods it's kind of like um there's this I think it's Jap it might be Japanese or it might be Chinese I'm not sure it's um it's this concept of, of forest bathing and it's just kind of going out and being in nature and soaking up the vibes, I guess. I never read the book. I saw the book, though. I saw the <laughs> I saw the, the cover of the book. I might have read the end caps, the end flaps of it. It was at this uh, little cabin we used to rent that I totally miss. Um, but uh, it was this really this really rustic cabin we used to we used to rent on a pond here in Maine. And uh, this little book about forest bathing, and I just loved that concept. And I just spent most of the time outside there anyway. So yeah, just kind of just need to be out, need to soak up, you know, the vibes of Mother Nature and uh, see I am your hippie art teacher. This shirt is totally on brand. Um, yeah, and just kind of, just kind of, I don't know, I let, let the troubles drift away. Not that I have that many troubles, I mean, seriously, well, I don't have anything to complain about, but and yet, and yet, and yet I do. That's what it's like to be a neurotic, I guess. So, uh, crafty news. Oh, guys, this, I had so much fun with this painting, and there's a time lapse of it. Um, on my YouTube channel, you want to see a secret? I made a mistake on the back, and I flipped it over, and I started again, so. <laughs> you guys all do that. Don't you make a mistake, you flip it over. Huh? Huh? We're tricky. That is called upcycling. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's called not wasting your paper. Um, so that's on Strathman t Strathmore Tone Tan Paper. I love that Tone Tan Mixed Media Paper. Um, it's very affordable. It's very smooth. It takes um, it takes everything. I use alcohol markers on it. I use gouache. I use water-based markers on it. I use watercolor crayons on it. It's quite smooth. You can stamp on it if you like to stamp and stencil and add. Like it's just it's it's a perfect mixed media paper. Um, they have it in several colors, including white and black. Um, I, I bought a small pad of the black. I don't think I've used it yet, but um, great paper. It's fantastic. It's so affordable. Uh, so I highly recommend it. But anyway, I was uh, the uh, the time lapse <coughs> is on YouTube. YouTube, and I go over getting that wood grain effect and then there's a real-time version of that in Critique Club if you want to follow along in real time and I was kind of thinking this would be so cool to do a calendar of um, I don't know if I have that sort of uh, what's the word it's kind of like stick to but over a long period of time I don't know if I can like I don't know if I can commit to that project but if a calendar publisher reached out to me and said, like, can you give me 12 fruit crates, I would be like, oh yeah, because then I'd have somebody else keeping me accountable. I think if I was ever to write a book or do anything like that, I would need 
like a publisher that's keeping me on track because I get distracted very easily. And so what happens, and I think why I ended up getting that done, I haven't been able to focus at all these last two weeks. It's been the whole adulting thing with my kids. Um, and so I ha I've had all these ideas and I just can't nail them down. They're like, it's like playing whack-a-mole or it's like, you know, I, I don't know, I just can't, it's like, it's like catching snowflakes. I don't know, I just can't. Um, can't focus on a project. I started this 30 days, <laughs> I started a 30 days um, class, or uh, filming a 30 days class, 30 days to better painting. So it's like 30 minutes, 30 minute paintings for 30 days. I got 10 done and then I just called, I kind of stalled out. I stalled out on that and then I started this big canvas in the background. Okay, maybe I can turn that around and tip it up. So I started that big canvas because I was getting really irritated by this ethernet cord that my husband ran through the living room where the internet comes into our house. He ran a cord because um, I guess our, our internet speeds were insufficient. Um, and he ran a cord going down to the floor to this office, but it never really worked right with my laptop. It like kept unconnecting. Um, so we did it for like better live streaming. And he also ran a cord um, upstairs through the attic to the addition, but it left a big cord hanging over the mantle, which is very unattractive. And like, so sometimes I dress up the cord, like, so it's like fall time, ooh, and I wrap some like garland, some like, some like fall leaf garland around it, like, ooh, you know, <laughs> I'm being tricky. Nobody can see that cord not now, oh no. And then at Christmas time, I'll wrap a little sparkly garland <laughs> around it. I'm telling you, I have the aesthetics of a, of a dorm, basically. Um, so I'm like, I want something a little more permanent. So I'm like, I'm gonna do a big canvas. I've had these two really big canvases just sitting in the room of Ford for years. I painted one thing. Uh, the canvas that I have there, I actually painted something on it. I was very upset when I painted it. I was very, I just I kind of wanted to get out a bunch of emotions. And then every time I looked at that, I was just disgusted with it because I was like, it's like I trapped all the, all the, all of the angst and shame and um, negative emotions that I was feeling onto that canvas, and every time I looked at that canvas, I felt that. So I took a bunch of thick gesso. The, uh, the, it's actually, for white gesso, my favorite white gesso is Jerry Zardarema, World's Greatest Gesso. And um, I just troweled it over and left lots of texture because the painting had a lot of texture to it. So I left all kinds of texture there. I'm like, I want to cover that up. I'm sick of looking at it. I just want to gag me with a spoon. I don't like it. And so then I was thinking, I want to paint something that um, I just want to just let it all out on the canvas, have fun, paint, use up some oil paints, paint with oils, um, and uh, make something that I can put on the mantle, just kind of lean, lean over the... <laughs> I'm just gonna lean it on top of the cord. So fancy, fancy disguise. Woo, no cord here. No, grown up house. <laughs> really, I'm helping somebody else with adulting and I have, my, my way to deal with cords is to wrap it with garland. Clearly, clearly I should not be helping other people adult. See, you can see why I worry about my children so much because they've got me as the role model on how to be an adult. No, I'm your hippie art teacher. I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so that's what that is. Um, I'm not sure if it's done yet. I think I may end up putting some like metallic leaf over the leaves because I don't know if I like leaves. It's very shiny because it's extremely wet. It's probably gonna take forever to dry and I didn't really think that that very well through because uh, now I have to be very careful to avoid it and it's blocking off a bunch of my colored pencils I reach for all the time when I just need to like touch something up. So I've gotten, I, I, I've had like perpetual paint under my fingernails since I've started that but um, but anyway, so that's what I worked on because I just needed something that would just kind of uh, envelop my brain for a little while. And uh, um, and that seemed to do the trick. I used up a jar and a large tube of white paint I because I wanted to use up. I could show you these hopefully without getting them all over my hands. Oh, maybe I can't. So a few years ago, I got this uh, paint by, I think the name of it is Javalia. That's a coffee company. I think this name, this might, Geneva. Geneva. Um, and they come in these little mason jars, which is so cute, but so impractical. And I think since then, the paint's great. Since then, they have switched to, um, to using tubes. And this smells like, it smells lovely. Really, it's lovely. It smells like um, clove and roses. It's delightful. So my, my place sound smells great. I'm probably losing some brain cells from smelling all of this in here all the time. And my closed door room where I'm heating it, <laughs> It's not very well ventilated, but it smells great. Um, so I'm like, 
it was so hard to get the caps off these. Every time I go to use them, it's so hard to get the, the lids off, even though I make sure I put them away clean. But anyways, I'm like, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to, I want to, uh, I want to use up the, that paint because I, I'm just, I, I can't struggle with those caps. I'm using like jar openers. And so this time I actually had to soak them in hot water to get the like boiling water to get the lids off. So I'm like, this is ridiculous. That's why this saran wrap on them. Um, I want to use these up and then just be done with them. So I used up the white. <clears throat> My burnt umber was all completely dry. I couldn't get the lid off black, but that's not a big deal. I have so much black paint just from it coming in sets and stuff, and I rarely ever use black oil paint. And I did want to use it because I wanted more of a graphic effect um, with like the palette knife uh, trees that I did. But uh, anyway, um, so I'm like, okay, that's all right. I'm just going to chuck the black because, you know, it's I can't get the lid off. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna use either use it up or let it dry out and dispose of it properly uh, because it's uh, it's time. It's time. I have so many tubes of paint of oil paint that I'm I'm, I'm at that point where I'm like, am I gonna use this up before I die? You know, I, I'm in midlife. Maybe I'm having a midlife crisis. I'm in midlife. I'm like ha I'm in between. I. I like to think I have more life left than I've already lived, but I'm 46 years old. They say if you if you double your age and it's not a tragedy, <laughs> if you were to die at that age, then then yeah, you're probably at midlife. Um, so uh, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to use that up, and uh, I totally I do not know where this train of thought was going, but uh, but anyway, that's what I was doing instead of working on that class or working on the other series that I talked about last week. The uh, what is this thing and why did I buy it? Because I made it a big ordeal. That's the thing. That's so, that, oh, back to the calendar. That's where we were. we were talking about that calendar, the potential calendar, the one painting that made you think, oh, I should do a calendar of this. The reason that's done, and it isn't just an idea in the ether, in the squirrel rave of my brain, is because I needed to have something done for Critique Club, so I had a deadline. And I'm like, I've got to get this done this, this week. And with all the adulting going on, I had like one day to finish it up. And uh, so I'm like, okay, so I started painting the radishes. And then that led, led it to me thinking, oh, wouldn't it be cool if it was on fruit crate? And ooh, what if I use some foam stamps? And I even had some stencils and some other stamps that I thought about incorporating, but I didn't need. Um, and then, then the idea came to, ooh, that would be a cool calendar. But luckily, I had that deadline, so I couldn't get distracted by the idea of, oh, let's play a calendar. I've never done a calendar. Why would I, you know, it's like, I don't, you heard the term stay in your lane. I, I feel like I have all these like winding little tributaries and and bridges and paths and it's <sighs> it's just I'm just I just scattered 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 um, I did hear a uh, interesting it's not even a piece of gossip because it was actually on the Notions marketing Instagram page they had posted a press release that said that Notions no it Notions posted that Nicole Crafts had. Um, they say bought them or they have a Nicole's Crafts acquired Notions Marketing. So if you've ever worked in any uh, craft retail situations, Notions Marketing is a company that will like go to independent um, craft stores. So, like my sister had an independent craft store. So she would buy products through Notions. A Notions salesperson would come over like, you want this, 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 you have a big catalog of things that they could get you. So you may be a small uh, art or craft store and not have, um, you know, you don't need a full, uh, like display of Windsor Newton or Derwin or whatever. You just need like, you need four tins of a pencil or you need to restock like three of this color, four of that color and so on and so forth. So you don't have the buying power to buy directly from the manufacturer. So you use these middlemen like Notions Marketing. Um, there's another one that's pretty popular. Uh, it's, I'm drawing a blank, but Notions are, is a big one. Um, and then you could buy from them. And so like the big, uh, the big brands would sell the Notions and they would sell on to the smaller, the smaller retails, retailers. So I thought it was interesting that Nicole Crafts, which I thought was out of business because they, um, they were owned by AC Moore and, and AC Moore went out of business, but for some, somehow Nicole Crafts LLC managed to stay in business. And I was thinking that, um, that Michaels bought them, but maybe that was Doris. Maybe Michaels owns Doris and not Nicole. Um, so I don't know. I'm trying, so I was trying to figure out. So that's where this little squirrel tangent went. I was like, oh, I wonder who owns Nicole then. I just, I don't know. It's like the family tree of craft supplies. I'm always just like so curious. But unfortunately, I don't have enough sleep to power the brain of curiosity that uh, <laughs> that I'm that I'm trying to uh, harness. I don't. Does that make any sense? But. Anyway, uh, but luckily I didn't get on a tangent on making a calendar. I just made one because I had a deadline and I had to get it done, um, which I guess it's good. I should probably like, uh, I should probably put more, I usually do have deadlines on myself and have a schedule because I do get so distra distracted. Um, but 
Uh, but for whatever reason, I think I just couldn't focus. I had no focus. The last two weeks, I've had no focus. Um, I don't know. You guys get like that? I'm sure. I'm sure we all do. Don't we all sometimes? And it's just the winter, I think. You know, I can have so much energy when the sun is shining. I, I swear I'm solar powered because I'll go outside on a beautiful sunny day and it just is so invigorating, you know? Um, and the weather's warm and you don't have to bundle up. You don't have to wear all kinds of layers. Yesterday I had like, a, it was it was really cold. And um, so I wore long johns or cuddle duds, but they're, you know, a lot of thermal underwear, basically. You wear them under your clothes. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to go downstairs and work. And that way um, I'll just keep the, I'll keep the thermals on and then I'll be comfortable. But I don't know, I just, I feel so oppressed when I have all those layers on. Um, and I'm just not energetic. I just want to be a slug and crawl into a hole and hibernate for the next like couple months. Um, it's just, just, I don't know, it's just like the winter, it just feels demoralizing. And then sometimes I feel like, well, how would I appreciate the summer if I didn't have the winter? And so I think, well, it must be worth it because I probably, I probably, I probably enjoy summer a lot more because I have to deal with winter. So I don't know. If you guys live someplace warm, let me know. Do you, do you think that... <laughs> Do you think you have to have the uh, the uh, uh, the discomfort to enjoy the pleasure, or do you think that you can just you're down there living in Florida or California or Arizona, just you know party time every day because the weather's warm? You'll have to let me know. Then again, it might be too hot in some of those places. I don't know. I we don't. It doesn't get too hot here in Maine. It's uh, you go from from too cold to you know moderate. Spring is nice because you're going from, you know, frigid, oppressive cold to it's getting warmer, party time, to summer, to like, woohoo, you know, let's go get in a boat somewhere. And, uh, and then fall's pretty, you know, then you got the holidays, so, you know, there's all kinds of things to do, and then you hit January, and it's like, oh, winter just started, there's still so much left, what, what will I do? But, uh, February's almost done. February, the shortest month, feels like the longest, is almost behind us. March is... The, the spring starts in March, in like a lion, out like a lamb, isn't that what they say? That's what they used to say when we were in school. I don't know if it's really the case or not, but, um, but yeah, uh, I have, uh, I have something I'm looking forward to, not this weekend, but next weekend, next Sunday. So we'll have another stat chat before this comes to pass, but, um, I'm actually going to see some of my college friends we're meeting, um, for lunch, and I'm super excited for that. But then again, I also get a little bit of a terror because I'm like, I haven't seen them for like 25 years and so like feeling super insecure about aging. Now of course they're also 25 years older so it's not like I'm the only one that's gone through some like, you know, you know, time warp and they've been preserved in some Doctor Who hypersleep anti-aging chamber or something. Uh, we're all going to be 25 years older but I'm like, you know, so that little bit of like that, that pang of anxiety like, oh my word, <laughs> I have wrinkles. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna leave this. And so, so I there. Have you noticed there's been a, like a lot of like YouTube videos about um, like anti-aging and skincare and stuff like that? Well, I I don't know. I, or maybe it's just my insecurities. The algorithm is feeding on my insecurities. That's probably what it is. It's so evil. It's so evil. The algorithm. It's feeding on my insecurities and it's showing me all these 20 year olds that are anxious about aging and using all these creams and lotions and getting Botox. I'm like, man, they're they're 20. You know. <laughs> It's like, and they're already doing this. I missed the boat. I missed the boat. It's too late for me. Save yourselves. Save yourselves, kids. Um, so on one of these things, they were, they were talking about how, like, Renee, you know, the stuff that teens take for acne is actually anti-wrinkle. And, oh, don't you know, I have some in the cupboard from when one of my kids had prescribed some. So let me tell you. <laughs> I was dabbing some of that on the fine lines to see if they would magically disappear. Can't tell. I think the bags I have under my eyes from the last couple nights of not sleeping enough have kind of like um, plumped up my wrinkles. So maybe maybe just to alternate to alternate good night's sleep with with uh, that uh, off label <laughs> prescription uh, acne cream for my wrinkles and uh, and poor night's sleep. You know, just 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 alternate it. You know, gonna be beautiful, man. <laughs> Oh man, our neuroses, will they ever go away? Probably not. Probably not as long as there is people to make us feel insecure. Uh, I hope I don't make you feel insecure. I hope it made you laugh a little bit and hopefully made you feel like um, you're not alone in this crazy world. And if you are feeling insecure or sad or hopeless or 
uncreative, creatively blocked, um, feeling like there's hamsters at a rave in your brain, I know that you're not alone. I'm right there with you. I'm sitting right next to you on the bus. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Let's go someplace more. Let's go to Mexico. Oh, I've never been to Mexico. It looks lovely, especially this time of year. Go have some avocados and a margarita. That sounds pretty good. What do you say? That's what we should do. We should do a painting trip. <laughs> After I get this calendar project in 30 days, 30 minutes and 30 days painting, uh, we could do a Mexican painting trip. But more than painting, <laughs> I mean, there needs to be a beach and there needs to be margaritas and uh, guacamole. Paint too. Yeah, bring your paint. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I have a friend who's a travel agent. She could probably make it happen. She's more of a go-getter. She doesn't have the squirrels in her brain. <laughs> oh, what else? Um, well, you know, I've been working on stuff, but um, I haven't been completing things, and that's the problem. <laughs> but next week, I feel like I will be in a better space. Because the adulting, the, adult, the adulting that I was dealing with is, is pretty much concluded. So uh, I should have a little respite between... Uh, between the chaos that has been the last two weeks and next week. Like I said, I'm getting ready to do a Michael's class. I've got to check in in about six minutes, actually, so I'm going to cut this, cut this off. Um, I do have some reviews coming up, uh, some watercolor reviews and some pastel reviews, um, and some projects. I've, I've got some heavy body acrylic paints and markers, and I, I kind of want to do maybe some more gel printing. Um, but I need to have a purpose. I need to have something to use the prints for because otherwise they just pile up and I don't know what to do with them. So if you guys have any any ideas for what sort of gel printing project I should do, let them know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I love to do that type of project over in the Room of Horde because I've got the big, the big bench for that. And it is starting to get warmer. I mean, it's got, well, not today. Today it's cold and snowing, but, but theoretically it's starting to get warmer where we're, days are getting longer. Sunshine, it's coming, it's coming. I'm fingers crossed and I'll see it soon. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I tried to get my hair back to blonde this week, but uh, but no, the red hair decided that, uh, that no, no. So this has been two doses of blonde and red hair's not giving up. Couldn't keep it for the life of me when I wanted it. Now that I want it gone, it won't leave. It's like a bad penny. That's the color of my hair is the color of a bad penny, but hey. What are you going to do? Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. See? No art, I told you. Uh, and uh, let me know what you're up to in the comments below. Till next time, happy crafting. Bye!